Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're here at Nottingham Goose Fair 2023. Oh, it is so good to be back. The atmosphere here is electric. It's always fantastic, especially at night. And yeah, the event is running through until this Sunday, the 8th of October 2023. And tonight we're going to head around the fair, take you on some of the rides, and show you what Goose Fair this year has to offer. Beautiful night for us tonight, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely which is great, there's no break. <laughs> yeah, perfect weather, sun's starting to go down. A look at this incredible view. We thought we'd start off with a ride here on one of the big wheels. Five pounds to ride. But yeah, you get an amazing view looking out over the fair and all the different rides here at this annual event in Nottingham. And yeah, beautiful night for it. Look at this, sun going down, perfect. Yeah, I think five pounds is quite good for a wheel, to be honest, they've got two big wheels for this year this is the biggest one and it's five pounds you've got that one just over there a bit smaller that's six pounds to go on spinning coaster over there lots of other fantastic machines and that's the thing welcome back to fun fair season we've got the awesome hall fair coming up next week as well and yeah this is running through until sunday and this fair is absolutely massive lots of different rides for everyone here. You've got some big thrill rides, lots of family attractions too. Ice jet just down there, some coasters, some ghost trains. I just love the atmosphere of the fair. And on a night when all the lights are on, I just love seeing it all this up. Oh, it's perfect, it really is. Yeah, we've got about, what, 45 minutes to go until it'll be dark tonight here in Nottingham. But we thought, you know, perfect timing coming on here now and showing you with the sun going down. Beautiful, yeah, we'll take you around and show you all the rides save you some POVs and go through all the prices as well for if you are coming down here to Goose Fair. Whether that's during the remainder of its run in 2023 or of course a future year of the event. It's not just the lighting though, it's the music, it's the smoke effects that create an absolutely epic atmosphere when you come to a fair like this. Nice ride there on the big wheel and yeah it was five pounds for two laps round. We was on there about 10 minutes including the load and unload times. Yeah, not too bad at all. Whilst we were up there on the big wheel, notice Phantom Chaser, the ghost train over here. And yeah, they got loads of props on the outside. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give that a go here now. First thing I noticed was the big skeletons. They are selling those in Asda and I wanted one so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we were thinking of getting one for the house. But yeah, look at this. I think they've been down to like Poundland, Home Bargains, like all the different shops and bought like all the props. But to be honest, it looks really good. Like, there's literally so much going on. It's four pound a ride. And yeah, you've got a few different drops on it as well. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's outside. Hey, let's go have a ride. Phantom Chaser. Smoke machines on as well. Look at this guy just over here. Oh, I love it. Loads of props around. Let's see what it's like on the inside. Hey, bumpy, bumpy. Climbing up the lift hill. There's just so much going on here. I love it. Very nostalgic with how it's all set up. The clowns like dancing to the music. <laughs> so you just love fun fair season now though. Thank you, man. Look at this, three. What a view. Oh. <laughs> I love all the Oh! Someone behind me! <laughs> oh! Look at it, look at it. Got an actor in here, love it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting one, would it be a smaller ghost train? Then there's a big one in there. There we go. Whee! <laughs> Look at these. Oh, it's got a vortex tunnel. Not spinning round though, I wonder if it was supposed to. Freddy Krueger. Hey, there's your smoke machine. <laughs> it was all right, that was. There were some good props around. And yeah, it was literally just like going to the shops at Halloween, wasn't it, that one? I love the theme and on the outside, it was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the little props and things around. You can tell they've just been to loads of shops and picked up loads of things. But yeah, it worked. It was a very classic kind of ghost train. It was a little bit on the short side. But yeah, it was worth going on. I had a couple of drops on there as well. Lots of rides down here. Got the Sizzler over there. That's four pounds to go. 
We're getting the moves from Charlotte over here. Hey. And here's a look over at Super Bowl. Always looks great with the lighting package. Four pounds to ride Super Bowl. You gotta love all the announcements as well. Oh, fun fair season. It's back. And yeah, just notice you got these down here as well with the history of Goose Fair. See, I like how they've got that on display. is looking the part down here. Look at all the moving heads. You got the smoke machines, £4.50 to ride. Look at this. I like it when Rise put on a bit of a show and yeah, all the lighting on there looks absolutely fantastic. And that's the thing now, sun's going down, lights coming on. It's gonna be a great atmosphere tonight. You do tend to get quite a few repeat rides at a big fair like this. Understandable though, because there's a lot of demand for them. Like waltzers, dodgems. Yeah, five pound per car just over here for this dodgem. Love all the music. Hey, four pound for the waltzer just over there. Da, 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 da. Look at this. Limbo dance over there in Miami. Storm, which is a booster. Over here you got a few boosts at the event, there's a couple of star players. That sky is nice tonight. Autumn is here. Five pounds special offer. Not bad. That's all that for a booster, isn't it? Five quid. Might give that a go actually at five pounds, why not? Tilt and forwards, walk straight on, five quid, good price for a booster. I did see another one when I was walking around just, and I thought, well, I'll give this one a go first. Might do another one later. I thought it'd be good timing to do this one now, because look at it with the sky. It's not quite dark yet, but it nearly is. I love this now, because I'm the only one on it this side. Literally, I'm just hanging here like this. <laughs> There's nobody sat on the two seats behind me. So I'm literally just gonna dangle like this now until I've got them riders off at the other end, which is quite funny. <laughs> you see all the roads, the houses. And yeah, in terms of how you can get here, you can see the Nottingham trams just down there. We park in Hucknall at the park and ride. And yeah, it's about a 15 minute ride on the tram. It's five pounds for an all day ticket. And yeah, included with that, you can get on and off as much as you want. And we went down into the city center in Nottingham today, had a look round. Uh, and yeah, this is actually located here at the Forest Recreation Ground, where we are tonight. Look at all these machines though, fantastic. Look all the way back there, Charlotte's somewhere down the bottom. Is anybody else getting on or not? I don't think they are. <laughs> I'm just going to hang in here now and wait. I looks like I didn't need to wait for too long. It was only up there about a minute and a half and we're off. Hey, there's the Miami. Woo! I didn't know if they need to balance it on the other side or not, but literally I'm the only one on it. Hey! <laughs> Eight seats, I'm the only person going round. Whoa! Hey! Oh, it's a good one. Manufactured by KMG. Woo! What a view! Woo -hoo -hoo! Comment down below if you're going to be coming down to Goosey Goosey this year. Woo! Going to see loads of fans of the channel tonight. Always great to see people who love watching the channel. Comment down below if you're one of them people that bumped into us tonight here at Goosey's. Whee! Look at that. Fantastic. Woo! We're going the other way now. Or is that it? I don't, I don't know, we're feeding up again. That's what we want. Whee! Strobe lights, moving heads. Woo! <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. God, I love boots. It's one of my favourite fun fair rides. Just the forces that you get on them, you know. Whee! Boosters, and of course I like my dark rides. I mean, really, we only get ghost trains at UK fun fairs. Outside of Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, anyway. Oh, that was good. Enjoyed that couple of minute cycle. Not bad for five quid. Whee. Can't believe I was the only one on it. Well, yeah, that was 
brilliant. Some fantastic views looking out over the goose there as well. But yeah, some good forces. I like it when you are on your own, actually. Oh, you seem to spin even faster. Yeah, it was great, that was. Another dodge room just over here as well. I do like the ones that have the LED lights on the poles at the back. Then they always look better. Limbo dancing just over here, Miami ride. Price of four pounds a go. Come on, let's see where that is. Move on, play now for the next ride. I'm right next to you, you got atmosphere just over here. Hey, it rhymes. <laughs> nice strobes on there. Look at that, two star flyers, two ferris wheels, and the frog bounce just there as well. What a skyline here at Goose Fair 2023. I do love filming these big fun fairs, and there's so many rides all together. You got all the announcements, all the music, and yeah, it's time to get a lot busier now tonight. Pumping atmosphere. Let's continue to have a walk around. Four pound for the frogs just here. Oh, that was a lovely shot just of all the different rides. And you got gravity over here as well, a rotor ride. And yeah, this is four pounds to ride, sticky wall. And yeah, it's really nice it presented this one with like the steampunk style vibe going on with that one there. I have to say with this one, the design is fantastic because as the rides go around, you can see the people like stuck up against the wall. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? Lots of food outlets here as well at Goose Fair. Lots of hot peas for everyone. Another dodge room just over here. More of an old school one, five pound per car. Last year I went inside this walkthrough and yeah, it wasn't great. However, it does look the part from outside. Three pound 50 to go in, so it's not too bad. It's one of those, but it really does look the part from outside. However, yeah, inside it's not amazing. As the spooky season is just around the corner, this is very fitting though, isn't it? Great exterior here. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> this is definitely one of the best views in the event just here. And what I love about a big pump fair like this is that so many of the rides have got smoke machines. So you just end up with like a big cloud of smoke over the event. Fantastic. Another ghost train just over here. Yeah, I've done this one in the past. It's all right, actually. Got the classic drop on the outside just over there, too. Four pounds per person to ride. Another pretty awesome machine over here as well. I went on this last year. Great ride. Might have a go on here later, possibly. Well, yeah, as you can see with this, it's basically a Super Bowl. We had to change them on the side. So instead of the cars being round, they're like straight across there. A little bit different. Fantastic. 
fantastic looking machine though that. And worth pointing out, if you're paying on card, it's £4.50. If you're paying cash, it's £4. So it just goes to show, it's worth going to a free to use cash machine and drawing out some cash, isn't it? It's always best having a bit of cash for your places like this. I can't hear you, Charlotte. I can't hear you either. It's pumping. <laughs> Classic KMG over here as well. Look at all that smoke, Tornado 2. So many strobes, I love it. Five pounds to ride. We got Sean's fighter over here as well, another extreme. Another wall drop to the left there as well. Look at this, it is bumping now. The ultimate Walter is looking pretty awesome there with all the lasers on as well. Four pounds to ride. Ministry of Sound. Oh, look at that lighting. Awesome. Oh my God, look at this. The lighting is insane. That's got to be some of the best lighting I've ever seen on the Walter. Wow. Why well, look that good from our fries down coming on. Join me as we ride the Ultima Walter. Hey, here we go. Look at the lasers on here. Somebody make some noise. Woo! Hey, somebody scream. We went on at the start of the vlog. We got the other one over here. 
star flyer. That's actually the Mellor star flyer from Fantasy Island in Ingermell, Skagness. The wheels look nice, little for night though as well. Frogs. This one's called the Mexican Wave. I like how they got the lasers and the moving heads on here. I feel like lighting stepping up even more on UK pump fairs, which is really good to see. And right next door, you've got Stargate just here. These are quite good fun, actually. Done a few of these now up and down the country. And yeah, you kind of stand it up and of course spin all the way over. Quite intense these actually, good rides. What I love about these big fairs though, is like the close proximity of all the machines. It's like here, we've got like four rides all so close to each other. Really does look the part. pounds to ride Stargate just there and next door to that Midnight Express classic Matterhorn ride four pounds a ride for that one there five quid for the classic spinning coaster just over here I don't think five pounds is too bad really for this. Oh, what a tune. Whee. People do love a good spinning coaster. There's so many of these around, especially here in the UK. Well, and throughout Europe and the world really. I mean, there's a very common ride to find. Well, people do love it. It's got a big queue, classic spinner. Of course, Ice Mountain will be back down at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland in London this year. And yeah, we're going to be back at Winter Wonderland covering it all in November, taking you around POVs and all the prices for this year's event as well. So you've got two large star flies at the event for this year. This one's owned by Danta, and yeah, this is £5 for a ride on this one here. Not too bad. And of course, you got another one of these just around the corner, Mega Spin. I think the location for this one looks even better though, because you got the spinning coaster there just behind it. Oh, you can't go wrong with a nice calipers. Always look beautiful. I like all the warm lighting on there as well. £3.50 for a ride. Yeah, in terms of the layout of Goose Fair, like it's hard to kind of work it all out because it kind of goes up and down, then across and side to side. It's a hard one to walk around. You've also got Air Max down here at Goose Fair. Seven pounds a ride. You're the best on this one, you're the best. And we got all lighting down on here. Looks pretty awesome. Yeah, Air Max is a great ride. Done this quite a few times now over the years. And yeah, you just got the one arm, eight seater, four per side. And yeah, you got the big like fan propeller on there. That helps build up the speed. You can actually hear the fans as well. Probably not picking up on the camera with the loud music, but you can kind of hear the propeller on there. They look so good, star flyers, don't they? And they ride nice as well. Along with that, you've got a slingshot just over here, bungee, £12.50 for a ride here on the bungee. Worth pointing out, no single ride is permitted. Another wild thing just over here as well. You know what, Charlotte? Do you find some uh, do nuts just over here or not? Why does it smell like that? I don't get it. You got some do nuts if you want. I think it might smell like that. Donuts, there you go. 
There's some do nuts. Fun fairs always smell really nice though. I mean, we went to Weatherspoons and had some food before, but Charlotte normally likes a good fun fair burger, don't I you? I have a burger, to be honest, with loads of onions on. I normally stretch to maybe like a whippy sometimes. Beautiful, I love a fun fair burger. <laughs> I go to. A whippy or a donut, I like. Oh, they're nice. Though. <laughs> Something that they could really do with here at Goose Fair, in my opinion, is just some signposts and maps around the site just to make it easier for people to get around because the layout can be quite confusing. I think just some signposts with like toilet facilities, first aid, and then the rides and attractions would be really nice. And yeah, here's a look at the other star flyer. This is the Mellors one. We'll have a look at the price for you in just a second. Yeah, this is the one that's permanently at Fantasy Island um, during the summer season and most of the year. Used to go down to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, uh, but it doesn't anymore. We have one that comes in from overseas and it's steampunk themed, which is really nice. And of course, that's back this year down at Winter Wonderland. But yeah, this is the Mellors one that they've got up here. Nice lights though. Six pounds to ride on the Mellor Star Flyer, yeah, not too bad. Got the freak out. I just love all the announcements. It's still my dream one day to operate a fun fair ride. Ideally, Decadence. Another Miami down here too. And we got Helter Skelter number one over here, and Helter Skelter number two in the background just over there too. Yeah, lots of rides for the kids here at this event as well. That's the thing, it's not all about the big thrill rides. You have got a lot for families and children here. So we'll just show you some of that offering that there is. I do think a Helter Skelter always looks beautiful though. There's just something about British funfair that screams out when you see a Helter Skelter. Yeah, lots of little rides for the kids down here. Little Ferris wheels and so much more. Mini Ferris wheel there next to the big ferris wheel and the back of a miami wave always quite interesting to see that all the counterweights on the back just there lots of games here as well i'm sure there's a lot of people watching this that love the games myself they're not really my sort of thing however you have got a lot of games if you are coming to an event like this which is always good oh look we got another front bounce just over here the floor's a bit muddy in some areas but they have got flooring round in quite a bit of the uh, area too Another Gallopers, and that's the third one of those that I've seen. Another Twister. You've also got a couple of classics then down here at Goosey Goosey, including the cakewalk over here as well. Built in 1895, as you can see. Three pounds for the cakewalk just over there. Now these are always fascinating attractions. I do like these. I like all the signage on these old school attractions as well. Like, look at that, all hand painted artwork. Yeah, and down here at the side, you see all the workings of it. And yeah, always great these are. Mini helicopters. <laughs> what I've seen with kids rides, a lot of them are priced at three pounds. Obviously that can vary. We got to think at a big fair like this, they've got to keep the prices quite competitive. Um, so yeah, three pound for this one. The kid's Ryan, it's operated by the kid just over there. <laughs> no, I think he's just sat in the middle. We saw someone doing this homework just when we walked past. Love it. Small little merry-go-round there. It's quite nice. It's a Disney themed one. Next stop, Disneyland. There we go, Disney Tours. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our recent vlog series here on Theme Park Worldwide from our trip to Florida and not Disneyland, but Walt Disney World. Had a great time. Oh, that's a nicely presented sizzler. Look at that, all the lights on the stairs. Like the arrows or the lightning bolts kind of on the top. That looks good. Lots of games around here in this area. Yeah, I do like how they put a lot of the flooring down. You know, I mean, we were chatting with some fans of the channel and they were saying how this is the driest night so far for Goose Fair. Saying that, the weather's looking really good this weekend. So if you are coming down, the event's running through until the 8th of October this year. Should be in some pretty good weather now the next few days. Yeah, at least they do try to put all this down on the floor. So it can get really muddy. 
when you're coming down. That's like the food area up there, so we're going to take a left first, but we will show you down that way a little bit later on. We're going to head back down this way, it's weird because that's a dead end that way. And then you head down this way, and it's also a dead end, it doesn't kind of loop round. So many rides for kids though, I mean, you can see all sorts. Got another Helter Scouter here. I do prefer the look of the traditional ones down there though, instead of those ones. Yeah, some parts of this are tarmac because part of it is built on a car park and other parts is actually the park itself. More juvenile rides, more games, slushies over there as well. Hey, you like them octopuses, don't you? Or is it a squid? That's the thing. Are you sure? We had this debate earlier. Where were we? We had this debate now, I can't remember. I say on the American road trip. We've done that much this year. I'm losing track. Mini balloons over there. Another Halter Scalter. Some more kids' rides just over here too. Yeah, a lot of these are three quid from what I've seen. Not too bad. Oh, I used to love these rides when I was a kid. These little trains. They go round in a circle. I mean, it takes a bit more to throw me now, but back in the day, these are like my favorites. I like how the operator's got the little whistle over there as well. Three pounds a ride. Yeah, I used to love these when I was little. What classics. Oh my God, look at this teacups over here and all the foam. <laughs> I think they've had the snow machine running wild on this one. Look at it. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's all down here at the side as well. Brilliant. <laughs> That's funny. Big fun house over here. Yeah, this one's all Egyptian themed by the looks of it. £3.50 for a big fun house, not too bad. These are quite nostalgic as well. I always remember when my local fair used to come to town when I was a kid and you have like the big pop of arcades. You don't really see loads of them around anymore now. Another slushy down here. And we got another waltzer. How many is that now? Probably about six. Oh yes, it wouldn't be a trip here to Goose Fair without going on one of my favourites. It's Ice Jet just there. Yeah, somebody scream out there. Fantastic lighting package. Hey. Wow, look at this. That is what I call epic. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Ice chair. Right, I'm going on. Come and join me for a POV on here. This is a beauty. Here we go. Five pounds to ride. And we're here on Ice Chat. One, two, three, let's go. Woo! Oh, yeah. Let's get them cars rocking side to side. Charlotte's going to bought a burger while I'm on here. It's a smoke, it's a lighting, all come together, fantastic package. And that's all we love here on Theme Bar Worldwide. Woo! We're in here. Three. Oh, okay. We've got a burger.
Oh, yeah, no, we're just getting started. Oh. Step back the lot so I take you back. We're going again? Wait, we're going backwards now. That is always a phenomenal ride, but I'll tell you what, the cycle on there tonight was fantastic. It was like six minutes, like really good. Just when I thought that was it, going forwards, we went backwards as well. And that's the good thing on there, no matter how busy it is, they'll always give you a good show on that ride. And I was quite shocked to see Charlotte whilst I was on there. I had a lovely cheeseburger with extra onions. It was sensational. How much was that? It was that's all right, that. It's always a classic. I have to have a beef burger when I come to a concert. I feel like some donuts maybe later. Well, I do you like the donuts? Well, I get a bag of donuts for going back later on the track. That would be nice. We'll see. Well, yeah, we're down here now, another part of the event. We've actually just walked past Animal Kingdom. You might be thinking, hang on, you was at uh, Animal Kingdom last week at Walt Disney World. Now we're at Animal Kingdom here in Nottingham. There it is. We've got another fun house down here too. £3.50 for a walk through the King Crazy Circus Fun House. And it has got a slide on the side there too. We've got the roller coaster over here too. I have been on this one before, but what I remember is another short one where it has got some uh, nice screens up there look, with the portraits on. It reminds me of how they used to look in Jewel. Four pound per person, but it has got the drop just there. The roller coaster. Is it a coaster credit? It's up to you. Only you can decide. <laughs> More kids rides. Yeah, instead of just having like one area for kids rides, they are spread throughout the event, which is very good. What are you pointing at there? The what? They look amazing. Oh, they look good. They do. Oh, I saw the word Nutella there. I don't like Nutella. Not a fan. Comment down below, Nutella or no Nutella. We're both definitely no Nutella. I love we've got another frog just over here as well. The bar area over there. Lots of stalls, they always smell good down at these fun fairs. We've got another slingshot down here too. We're coming up to one of my favourites just down here. It is of course, Ride the Ball, Ride the Ball. Oh, I love Ride the Ball, it's so much fun. And that's coming up just around the corner. So we're definitely going to be doing that. And we've got another Sizzler. What a surprise, wasn't expecting that. Six pounds for the booster down here, over the falls. I don't think that's too bad. Again, got some pretty epic lighting. Over the falls we go. I can't see any falls to go over. <laughs> oh, I can hear them already. Ride the ball, ride the ball. Here it is. This is always great fun. Look at the crowd watching this as well. Everybody loves it. Crazy balls. Let's go. Look at these, they're always a fan favourite. Yeah, you've got all the balls lined up. And then of course, you've just got to try and stay on the ball. It is quite hard, but it makes a good fun experience. Let's go ride on the crazy balls. Ride the ball, ride the ball. Hey, here we go. Oh, that was rough. 
they do call them the crazy balls absolutely ridiculous but great fun i love it so much we are on there it is brutal isn't it i was so scared that i was going to fall onto someone or someone was going <laughs> to fall onto me it's always some of the funniest but also shakiest footage oh. i have a film going on those but yeah not to be missed if you've never done them before i'll oh, give them a go but be, be careful because they can get ridiculous can't they, they are crazy. oh madness that was and up next time we've got the super skid just here nice fun fair classic Let's go and have a ride on here and Charlotte's coming on. Here we go. <laughs> you can't get these going quite
Well, that cycle just kept going and going on there, didn't it? Oh my God, I literally thought I was going to be sick. <laughs> yeah, I thought you was as well. Oh, I really did enjoy that. Uh, a couple of minutes is all right for you on there, it isn't it? It just kept going and going. I was like, please just stop. <laughs> the whole cycle was like six minutes or something oh on there. Oh my God. Yeah, worth £3.50 though for that cycle. Oh my God, I feel sick. <laughs> Down here at this end then, you've got another spinning coach. This is a smaller model actually than the one down the other side. Uh, spinning wild mouse. Five pounds for a ride on Project X also known as Accelerate. So a tip top just over here. And Infinity, this is always a good fun ride. A gyro swing where you're facing outwards. And yeah, look at the lighting on there, pretty awesome. Looks really good that. Well, this is always one of my favorite machines to see out there. New York, New York just over here. Look at this, all the lighting. I like how you got the traffic lights up there as well. And even the music. New York, New York. I'm gonna have a ride on here, why not? Okay, okay, this time I wanna see everybody's hands up. Hands up in the air this time. Don't be shy, come on, everybody. You got the Statue of Liberty there in the middle too. We're gonna give it to your maximum power on the forward time. Come on, here, let me hear everybody scream. <laughs> What's he got there? It's a smoke cannon. There he is. Right, I'm definitely going on now. Four pounds to ride. All I've got to say to all viewers is start spreading the news. No, wrong timing now. Start spreading. Oh, it could be up. Shocking. Woo! I like how we're starting off backwards. A little bit different for these. Just me on this one. I think Charlotte's all ready now. To the skate just there. Hey. I hope he comes around with that blaster thing again. I really want to see that. <laughs> hey. I like how they got all the mirror balls up. And I'm sat actually in a genuine New York taxi, New York cab. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to theming, they're doing a good job with it. Okay. Hey.
amazing show put on there by New York, New York. If you're coming down to the event, I definitely recommend a ride. Really good cycle, about four and a half minutes. And all the effects, I even got the spray there. It would, it was good that was, I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, there we go. 15 pounds for this slingshot down here. Yeah, the other one was 12.50. Worth pointing out though, prices can change depending on how busy the event is. That isn't just a thing here at Goose Fair, that's just a fun fair thing in general. And you might be thinking, hang on, there's another frog there, Sean. Well, that's the one we saw when we walked back. We kind of loop around this area. Yeah, we're going to head down, show you some more of the rides and the food area now. Here at Goose Fair 23. That bar's nice. Look at the moose up there. There's a moose in the house. Is it loose? That's the question. <laughs> and yeah, them rides we just done down at that end of Goose Fair. Made it look like it was really quiet this evening now. But as you can see from the pathways, it's still very busy. I think that's the thing they could do with working on the layout and trying to connect up this top pathway and the bottom one where them rides were just because really uh, the rides aren't getting anywhere near as busy down there as they should be like i say even just putting some maps around just so people know because you're walking down here it looks like there's nothing back there when really there's all them rides that we've just shown you down there at the bottom end so yeah i think they can either do with trying to rework the layout or at least put some maps up just so people know where the different rides are because they were empty down there and some of the best machines were down in that part of the fair make some matching numbers down make some matching tickets down make some matching numbers You've got to give us 21. 21 People love these, the don't they? The big prize stalls. 21 is the combination. Then you are looking 21 for. 21 shots. I'm working for. 21. 21. Today. That you see on the show. Yes, I did. Just Take been on New York, New York. We've got the New York Cafe around it. So yeah, this takes a uh, left turn where you've got mostly food, but I think there is a few Amazing. smaller rides down this way. So we'll have a little stroll down to the left. And of course, one of the famous things to eat at this event is the mushy peas. Yeah, I don't really understand it. It's like mushy peas with mint sauce, but I'm not a fan of mint sauce. It's a staple of the event. I do like mushy peas. Mushy peas. Well, Sweets and treats. Lots of other food down here. So yeah, it's like a whole street of food and a couple of small rides down here. Oh, look at the size of these over here, Charlotte. Every player gets an octopus. But <laughs> Well, thing is, when they say every player gets an octopus, you think you're going to get a big one. You're one of those small ones down there, won't you? But still, you get one. And <laughs> you might get a big one. And yeah, you have got quite a lot of toilet blocks here as well, of course. Here at the event, too. Any fans of dirty fries out there? You can get some of those down here. You've got a small little runaway train coaster down here, too. Yeah, there's a little caterpillar case that we saw actually earlier on too. Here at the event. Some smaller rides down here. There's another fun house, the Big Top Circus. I love the atmosphere just walking around these fairs. Quite an impressive fun house. Oh, and if you don't fancy one of the big waltzers, you got the mini waltzers just down here too for the kids. Quite a nice little setup. The Ventura Simulator. Oh, we've had some funny rides on these over the years. There you go. The Pepsi Max. We've seen this pop up in a few places. Ventura Simulator. So we're right down here at the far end now. And of course, shortly we're going to come back this way. Show you some more of the food offering. And here you've got a couple more juvenile rides down here. A little carousel spinning ride and the Ferris wheel over there too. Yeah, it looks like there's a Miami down here at the end called Avalanche. And here we go, right down here now at the end. See so what we're going to do is turn back this way, head back in this direction. And yeah, we'll continue straight on. We came in kind of halfway along this bit. So we'll go straight down here, show you some more of the food options, and of course, a few more shots of the rides. There we go, hot mushy peas available down here. Goose fair tradition. Always remember my first visit to Goose Fair when I was a kid. Came on a coach trip actually with my mum, my first time here at Goose Fair. It was an expensive night for my mum that was, paid for all my rides. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you can get a nice carvery down here as well. Oh, Chef's grill. Yeah, lots of food. This whole area down here is literally just food. So if you're feeling peckish, get yourself down here. Nottingham Goose Fair is traditional. Cooked mushy peas, established 1946. 
been going for a long time. Well, Charlotte over here had a burger just, and then I bought some donuts for me, and she's just walking off with them now. Six donuts and five quid. They look all right then. Nice sugary donuts. I'm not a big fan of like the loaded fancy donuts. Just standard ones for me. Sugary donuts here at Goose Fair. Lovely. Look at those in there. All these donuts are delicious. Just how I like them. Nice and sugary. Ferrero Rocher stall. Not a big fan of Ferrero Rocher. Not going to lie. I love them. That's why we never have them at Christmas. I love them. <laughs> Cumberland Lincolnshire sausages. There you go. Loads of food down here. Plenty of peas for everyone. Look at all them rides there behind us. The atmosphere is always electric at these big fun fairs. Absolutely love them. We've had a fantastic night, haven't we? It's been an absolutely brilliant night. I know I don't want loads of the rides, but I just love soaking up the atmosphere. And that's the thing, it's all the smoke, it's all the lighting, it's all the rides that are close together. Oh. Hey, think all worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, it's just the overall vibe of it that I love so much, especially down here at Goose Fair. All the rides in quite a close proximity to each other as well, which is really good. And yeah, just overall, it's a brilliant event. Nice collection of rides down here. There is quite a lot of repeat rides. However, you've got to think it's a busy event, isn't it? I suppose it is because of the capacity so that loads of people can split up across the event. Yeah, if you only have like one one also and one dodgems, you know, like people are going to start, you know, queuing a long time. And that's the thing with fun fairs, you don't want to be queuing ages. It's about getting lots in, soaking up the vibes. You can come to something like this though and spend like hardly anything and have a great night. Or you can come and do loads of rides. For me, I like walking around, soaking up the vibes, doing a few rides here and there, having some donuts, and that's what this event is all about. And of course, we've got another fantastic fun fair coming up next week. It's Hull Fair. Oh, I hope they've got a tag in there because I love those. Oh, they will do. Yeah, Goose Fair, they don't like the tag in there in Nottingham. No, um, yeah, we've got uh, a tag. Oh, look at the big truck coming past just there. Uh, big shout out to everybody that has to clean up from this event. Like, yeah. it's, it's a big one. Um, yeah, we've got Hull Fair coming up next week. What a nice bit of background there. Look at that. It's me trying to get a nice background with the fair. We've ended up with the big truck. There we go. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us here on Theme Park Worldwide. We're at Hull Fair next week. as uh, so a stay tuned for that. And that makes us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. Hashtag big truck. See you soon.